here's an example involving molarity. 1.75 liters of a 10.7 molar solution of NaOH is made at 20 degrees Celsius. How many grams of NaOH were used to make this solution? First of all, there's always going to be information in, these problem, in this problem that you don't need. You don't need the temperature. Now, why do they give you the temperature? Because uh, um, solvents can only dissolve solutes at certain temperatures. So when you change the temperature, you're changing how much solute can dissolve. So they always give the temperature so that no one can ever say, oh, well, you didn't give us the temperature, so I can't identify how much can actually dissolve. Yes, they actually say it in that voice, too. So, um, whenever you, again, it's a calculation problem, so the first thing you do is write down your formula. This is molarity. I'm sorry, I'll make it more look like a big M. Molarity, big M, is equal to moles of solute, which in this case is the sodium hydroxide, divided by liters of my solution. They tell me that my molarity is 10.7. They tell me my volume is 1.75. So since I only have three things, I'm going to put in X for my moles. Now, does that help me? Does that answer the question? No. The question says how many grams. But I already know that I can convert from moles to grams. So let me find the number of moles and then do a quick mole conversion. So I'm going to cross multiply. And I'm going to find that X. Pull out my calculator. So I'm going to cross multiply 10.7 times 1.75 is 18.725 moles of NaOH. So throw that into a quick mole conversion. One mole goes on the bottom, 40.01 grams goes on the top. Made that line a little long. Go back to my handy dandy calculator. Number's already there, so I'm just going to go times 40.01. Enter is 749.2. But I need three significant figures, so we'll round it to 749 grams of NaOH. Okay? That's a lot. Just an FYI, um, to put it in perspective, one of those iodized salt containers that you buy from ShopRite is about 750 grams. So you can tell how much sodium hydroxide you need in this solution. But if you think about it, this is a big solution. 1.75 liters is almost a 2-liter soda bottle. Okay, So uh, that's a lot of solution that you're dealing with, and it's a pretty high concentration, 10.7, very concentrated solution. So I need 749 grams of sodium hydroxide to make this solution. Let's see another one. What is the molarity of a solution formed by mixing 10 grams of uh, H2SO4 with enough water to make 100 milliliters of solution? Okay, so again, write down your formula. Molarity is equal to moles, in this case it's H2SO4, divided by liters of solution. Plug in what you know. Okay, it wants me to find the molarity, big M. I have a volume, but it's in milliliters. I'm going to divide by 1,000 and that will give me 0 0.100 liters. But I don't have the moles. And I'm looking for molarity. So there's got to be something else that I can use to find the moles. I have grams. So I'm going to quick do a gram conversion. Gram to mole conversion. One mole goes on the top. 98.04 grams is the weight of H2SO4. Goes on the bottom. Quick, do my calculation. Clear out my previous one. 10 divided by 98.04 is 0 0.102, which will go on the top over here. And hopefully, we'll be able to see the math here already, but I'm going to do the calculation anyway. Divided by 0.1 is 1.02 molarity. Now, notice, you must include the M. This is the unit. Okay? Muy importante. 